In this video, we're going to look at branching, including merging branches. Now, branching is the process of creating a new pointer that allows you to literally branch off and work on the same code, but in a safe environment where you're pretty much free to do what you want, mess it up if you like, because you can discard the changes uh, of that branch. And if you're happy, you can merge it into another branch. So sometimes this concept can be a little hard to understand, but we'll demonstrate exactly how we can branch, switch branches, discard branches and merge branches. This will make your workflow a lot better since you can switch what you're working on quickly and easily. And Git also makes this process really quick since you're not duplicating your entire project code in order to branch off. And this is partly why Git is so popular because it handles one of the most important aspects of development really, really quickly. In other version control software, all code is sometimes copied in order to branch off and you can imagine that this would take a while. So we've decided we want to branch off to create a new feature of our Hello World application. You can use the git branch command to create a new branch like, like so. So git branch. And I'm going to create a new branch called Hello England. And there we are. Now we're not actually on this new branch. If you run git status, you'll see that we're still on the master branch. And as we've said uh, previously, master is just the default branch that we have. Now, if you want, when you're creating your new branch, you can provide the B flag like so, and that will automatically switch you to the new branch that you create. But let's switch over to our Hello England branch manually. We use the git checkout command for this. So we say git checkout and then the name of the branch like so. And we get a confirmation here saying that we've switched to the branch. We can also confirm this using git status. Now we can do whatever we'd normally do, create, modify, remove files, make commits as normal. And let's do that and create a new file. So let's create england.html and let's go ahead and modify this to say hello England. So let's commit this change or add this change in first. So if we run git status, we get this. So we do a git add, we do a commit here. So we've committed this change. Let's just switch back over to GitHub just to look at our list of branches. In this case, we still only see the master branch, despite the fact that we've already created the Hello England branch. And this is because we've not yet pushed the changes we've made on that particular branch to GitHub. So let's go ahead and do this quickly. This time we use git push origin and then the name of the new branch instead of master. So in this case, it's Hello England. And there we go. So let's take a look on GitHub now and you'll notice we have this new branch. Now, in terms of uh, merging branches, we can actually automatically do this on GitHub, but we're gonna stick to the command line so we can learn how to do it there first, because it's likely that you'll be creating branches locally and you want to merge them into say master or another branch and then go ahead and push these up. Let's quickly though, check out how we switch back to our master branch, just because this can be a little bit confusing, particularly if you've used the B flag and you've not known any different. So we just use git checkout master so we can switch back to the master branch, although we've added and committed files in the other branch. When we run git status, you can see uh, that we are now on that branch. So if we uh, do a Hello England checkout, that takes us back to our Hello England branch. Now, the good thing about branching is what we could actually do is switch back over to the Hello England branch and create a branch off of that Hello England branch. And we could create a, another branch off of that. You can create branches, you know, as much as you want. And this is what's great about Git because it makes this so flexible. But now let's learn how we merge Hello England into master. So we've created, our, well, our master branch sits there. We've created our Hello England branch. Now we want to merge it into master on the command line and then push the changes up. So let's um, go ahead and do this now. And just a side note, you can see all branches that you currently have open by just running the git branch command. So let's now use git merge and then the name of the branch that we want to merge. In this case, it's Hello England. Remember, we are on master right now. 
Oh, sorry, no, we're not. We are on Hello England. So let's switch over to Master and then let's merge Hello England into that. So we've merged it in, we've merged the changes in. So um, because we are obviously already in our master branch, uh, we can head over to Sublime Text and see that we have this Hello England file in here. Now we can actually delete the Hello England branch because we don't actually need it. So we can say git branch d hello England like so, and that's deleted. So let's now push our changes to GitHub using git push origin master and that's gone ahead and pushed them changes so now you can see that on the master branch we now have that new file you'll also notice that the uh, little message we had up here earlier about pulling a, a uh, doing a pull request is gone so we don't need to merge this on github anymore because we've done it locally now despite the fact that we've done this you can still see that we've got this hello england branch on github so obviously that's the downside of doing this on the command line because now the branch still exists because we haven't pushed the changes back up. So to delete this, we just do git push origin, the delete flag, and then the name of the branch. And there we go, let's just check this out. And there we go, it's gone. So we've now learned how to create, switch, merge, and delete branches with git.